Hi everybody, Mr. Croxel here with you today and we're about to take a nice walk through East Liverpool High School and Junior High to understand the new procedures as to how we are going to start school here next Tuesday, September 8th. So, since I'm outside and I don't have anybody within six feet of me, I want to talk with my mask off for a few moments. The first thing is, as you saw, this is the drop-off area outside of the field house. This is where any student who's going to be dropped off by car at East Liverpool High School, that's anyone that's not riding a bus, and those that are walking to school, you're going to enter here, right here at our field house. And then you're going to proceed down the walkway to where you enter the school, which we're going to do here in just one moment. Before we do that, I want to let you know as well, if any of you are arriving late to school from 8.35 up until, excuse me, 8.35, you will be dropped off here at this entrance. So if you miss the bus and someone brings you to school, this is where you need to be dropped off. So let's take a walk down the walkway and figure out exactly what's going to happen. You're going to notice some markings on the floor, and this is real important. Notice we have stop over here and one way over there. Well, that's the deal. That's the way we need to go. The markings indicate about how far away you need to be from someone that might be in front of you as you're entering the building. Now, as we come in, staff will be meeting you right here at this little guy. This is our temperature guide. Notice the UV light down below, and at the top, we have a temperature scanner. So, you see the apparatus I'm holding there being reflected on it. Put my forehead up there. That's it. My body temperature is normal. Doesn't mean I'm normal. Yeah, I believe I'm normal. What do you think? No? Okay. Whatever. Anyway. If that temperature shows up as a red X, then we will be going to this room right over here, which is our infirmary. This is where nurses will be stationed, and anyone that has a temperature over 100 degrees will be taken to that room just inside of our entryway, and they're gonna check out to make sure that you feel okay and that you're all right to start the day. For those riding the bus, well, it's the same entranceway as always, right through those doors as we've gone before. So let's go ahead on in, and we'll check things out and see exactly what's gonna happen here. Now again, remember, we put our mask on before we enter, so let's get our mask on, all right. Upon entering the bus drop-off area, once again, we are met with one of our thermal imagers. Again, the exact same apparatus as we've seen before, with our UV light at the bottom and our temperature scan at the top. Same procedure, if indeed your temperature is above 100 degrees, you'll be asked to step down to the nurse's station and speak with the nurses, make sure everything's all right. And if everything is okay, well then it's time to proceed to breakfast. Now as you enter in to the cafeteria for breakfast in the morning, you're going to be greeted by this fellow. This guy is a four-sided hand washing station. As you can see, exact duplication on that side and on all four sides. It's really nice. It is a touchless hand washing station. It turns on the water from where it's stored inside keeps it inside the drain area there. We have uh, hand sanitizer and touchless uh, paper towels for you guys to be able to dry your hands. So the idea is wash your hands, wear your mask, keep the social distancing, and you are gonna be Potter proud and Potter safe as well as Potter well. Now that's what we're looking for. As well as some breakfast, because I'm really hungry. So the idea on the floor is pretty easy. If you stay to the right, you can't go wrong. You understand that one? plain and simple. So we're heading down the hall. We're going to go this way and follow those old foot markings the way that they're at. Pretty cool stuff. Hallways are marked that way and as we're changing classes, going to take a little bit of extra time, but as you can see, the entire hallway is marked out and ready to go for you. 
let's spin ourselves into one of the classrooms so I can show you guys what's happening with the desks. As you see, each desk is spaced four feet apart throughout the classroom, allowing for social distancing. This is going to help us out as we go through our school day. And one of the other additions, every classroom has been equipped with this little fella right there. This guy is a touchless hand sanitizer for your use throughout the day to make sure that you keep yourself potter safe and potter clean. Let's move on down the hall and check out what else we need to know. Well, here I am at the front entrance of the school. You're familiar with this. So many of you have come in this way in the past years. But remember, as we just discussed, all those that are riding to school via car, driving yourself to school, or walking to school, you're going to be entering at the field house doors and not here. This is for teachers only to come through. This is where we'll be given a special uh, pre-ordered tea, a coffee, uh, a fresh made croissant, also a uh, made to order breakfast that will be delivered. Actually, no, it's just for us to come through uh, the doors here. And we go through the same procedures as you guys do with our temperature check as we enter the building and then we'll head to our classes. If you arrive to school after 835, that's after 835, you will come through here. You will need to use the access panel here on the side wall to be able to ask for entrance into the building. At that time, you'll be able to enter and sign yourself in digitally so that you can enter the building. Parents, if for any reason that you need to pick up a student or you feel that you need to contact the office, you need to call first. Make sure that you make that phone call to 330-386-8750. You will speak with one of our receptionists. They'll get you to the right people so that your question can be answered. And if you need to pick up a student, you'll be informed as to which door or area you can come to be able to pick up a student. You will not be permitted inside the building without a prior appointment to speak with a principal or with one of the building administrators concerning a certain problem. So again, the phone call must happen first. You can't come to the door and expect to be allowed into the building without first setting up a prior appointment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are right outside of the guidance counselor's offices of Mrs. Pippo and Mrs. Atkins. Now, normally, we do schedule changes, things are happening, you walk in and out of the office. That's not really going to happen this year, especially right now. So what does need to happen, make sure you are joining your Google Classroom class of 21, class of 22, 23, 24, and so on. If you're on those Google Classrooms, you're going to find some links for you to be able to put in a request for a change of class or express any other problems you might be having with your schedule. That's something that needs to be followed up on right now so that you can get a head start before the school year begins on September the 8th.